This is uh, something that I have to make a video about as a watchman because I'm being shown things and I don't know exactly where it's leading. I just know that it's been one thing after the next. And it all started with um, Donald Trump being nominated for the Knesset um, in Israel. So, of course, we know that Donald Trump has retweeted the comment about him being king of Israel and like the second coming of God himself. Um, so keep that in mind. What's really important is to look at when Donald Trump visited with the Pope, what he gave the Pope for three gifts. Two of the gifts related to Martin Luther King Jr. One was a set of books the second was a piece of stone from the Stone of Hope monument in Washington, D.C. of Martin Luther King. And the third thing was a lotus sculpture. The lotus has always been very prominently displayed in the iPad Goat movie. Most of us have seen that. So we have this we have this, these gifts pointing to Martin Luther King. Of course, this upcoming Monday is Martin Luther King Day. That day is three years from the Trump inauguration, which was on January 20th, three years ago. The question is, see, Martin Luther King Day is not always the same date every year. The question is, was this pointing to something on Martin Luther King Day? I've seen other channels, Julian T, Exalted Lamb 1, decrypting some of this iPad Goat stuff. And they're being led to the same time frame, basically, that I am. That there's something between... See, 116, which is 9-11, upside down, is when we had the announcement of the impeachment taking place in the Senate and also Trump being nominated in the Knesset, which I believe is a signal... Of course, we know his image is on the temple coin that was minted with King Cyrus. King Cyrus um, is a very interesting character to study, and he's shown in the book of Chronicles with this quote. Second Chronicles 36, 23. This is what Cyrus, king of Persia, says. The Lord, the God of heaven who has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, has appointed me to build a house for him at Jerusalem in Judah. Whomever among you but belongs to his people, may the Lord his God be with him. The Bank of America mural is also something that Angel White Channel has looked at, which shows a figure that seems to be like a Donald Trump. It's definitely showing an eclipse. Of course, he was born under the sign of a blood moon on his birthday. His birthday, June 14th, 1946, also happens to be translated into the Hebrew, the 15th of Sivan. The 15th of Sivan is very significant to the Israelites or the Hebrew people because in the line of the tribe of Judah, which is the, the line of kings, starting with Judah, born to Jacob and Leah, which we have winter storm Jacob this weekend. Born to Jacob and Leah started the line of kings, born and died on Sivan 15. And then we have all the subsequent, subsequent kings in the line of David, Solomon, and it goes on and on. I don't believe this is a coincidence. I don't believe that Donald Trump's original family name, Drumpf, Don Drumpf equates to 666 in the Gematria. There's too many things now that are pointing to a very strange tie-in with Donald Trump. And I believe we're to watch very closely from now, today, until Tuesday, when the impeachment trial is to begin in the Senate, with Monday being MLK Day. And I believe that to be a very, very significant day because of the, what was given to the Pope. I believe the word king is the key word in Martin Luther King Jr.'s name. The Trump Tower has how many floors? 
was a question that I was interested in finding out. And how many does, which floors does, and which floors does Donald Trump live on? Well, it's interesting because in Wikipedia it says that the tower skipped the sixth and thirteen floors. That there there are no six through thirteen floors, which is interesting because that's the law of God. Six hundred and thirteen, or the number of laws. Mosaic, the number of mosaic laws for the Jewish people to follow. And because of that, instead of ending at floor 58, which supposedly was the, the last floor, it's now Trump occupies, Trump occupies 66, 67, and 68 for a three-story penthouse. Some pictures of what's inside the penthouse. He has 18 karat gold toilet seats. Apollyon is featured in the prominent place above the mantle. In the penthouse, which Apollyon is, of course, the Antichrist spirit denoted in Revelation 9-11. There are two significant numbers for God's identity. yod heh vav -Hey, many of you know, is 26. It's the name of God, the tetragrammation. For Jesus Christ, it's 888. Well, Donald Trump was born under blood moon. June 14th, 1946, 26,888 days later, takes you to the Lunar New Year, which is to the Chinese New Year, which takes place January 25th, 2020. I believe that this date's very significant because if Donald Trump is someone that we are to watch, which I believe we are at this point, that day would be very significant in a day count from his birthday. He could be exalted as a god on that day. I believe we're getting very close to the end. I believe that there's signs that I can't ignore. And I felt like I needed to make this video. I believe I've been shown a lot of things about Donald Trump. And many of you get really upset about me speaking of him. Um, I'm a watchman. I watch everyone. I don't know 100% who is who. I know there are many antichrists. And I know they're all rising at this particular time. I know that the falling away takes place prior to the revealing of the Son of Perdition. But if we get close, we may be able to see some of the players on the stage. Many of us see that now. If you remember, I had a dream of Donald Trump asking me who I thought the, the candidates for the Antichrist were the top three. And in my mind, I'm going, uh-oh, he's one of the choices. But I go ahead and say, well, you know, Barack Obama would be one. And Michelle was standing there and uh, didn't phase me. She just looked at me and kept going. And then I said, Jared Kushner would be another choice. And then Ivanka, his wife, was standing there. And it didn't phase me, and I kept going. And then I paused because I knew the last choice was Donald Trump. And uh, he leaned in and said, and he, he was leaning in like waiting with bated breath as to what I was going to say. And when he leaned in, I looked at his face and it changed into a lion. He had a golden mane of hair, but it was wild looking, like crazy looking. And then his eyes changed and his teeth looked like vampiric. They were very sharp incisors, like a lion. And he was waiting for me to say it and the dream ended. Outside the dream where Don gets fired, and we moved to a new home. The impeachment trials hadn't yet started. I didn't even think about any of that. I didn't realize any of that would even come to where it is now. But now we've got these articles of impeachment being delivered from the House of Representatives to the Senate. The Senate's now going to be having a trial starting on Tuesday, the day after Martin Luther King Day. So the time has come to proclaim our King's return is at hand, nigh, at hand, on final approach. Seconds remain, grace is still available. The sacrifice of Christ is still the only way to atone for our sins and be saved. But look what's happening. Other sacrifices which don't save are coming. The time of Jacob's trouble, the return to law. Jesus must take the church, all of those who have been saved by his blood, out and across to the promised land. The time is here not to look back, but to look ahead to a bright future, one that God has ordained, one he's predestined for you in Jesus. Body of Christ, Prepare to assemble 
in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our King is come.